Hi, and welcome to today's segment of The Power of Money. I'm your host, Michelle Graves, affectionately known for the last 38 years. Can you believe I'm that old? Hmm. As the money lady, bringing you information, guests, people, situations to enable you to make sound financial decisions for your family, to enable you to be able to be an architect of your own life, and to live in a time of excitement and adventure. Yeah, you got to have some fun down here. Everything is not like flamingos trying to get across the Sahara Desert. You know, there's a little bit of fun in all things that God has ordained for us to do. So we started off last week with a fascinating interview with an amazing African-American woman, Sonia Jackson Miles, who is an alpha female, a get it done, get it done kind of woman. And listen to her story and her evolution. You should have left inspired and encouraged. Um, if you didn't see the show, check out YouTube in a couple of weeks. You'll get a chance to see the entire interview. But we ran out of time, and I wanted to do a second interview to talk about her amazing foundation and give you a little background about the Sister Accord, that she is the founder and CEO, and uh, delve into that aspect of her life. I'm always incredibly curious about people and the lives they've lived uh, and the challenges that it presents for you if you're stuck then I will just tell you to buy some goof off and unstick and get on with what God has destined you to be. Everything you need, everything you need is already inside of you. No mistakes here. No oops here. God knows exactly the plans for your life. So I'm going to give you a live real example and let you ride with us on this second half of her story. What does a $20 billion corporate executive do when she wants to live her purpose? This is the headline on one of her media pieces. She launches her global movement titled The Revolution of Love with the self-published 135-page coffee table book and toolkit entitled the Sister Accord, 51 Ways to Love Your Sister. Look, this is a good book. <laughs> I, I'm serious. This, this, this is a good book. Um, oh, wow. Number 17, remove the mask. It will liberate both of you. Did you see this? Women, girls, remove the mask. They're not talking about makeup. They're talking about what's going on in your head. Another one. Don't be a dream wrecker. Mm. Keep that negativity inside of you and don't keep it too long because it will eat you from the inside out. Be a dream actualizer. Take your dreams and with God's help and direction, actualize the real you into somebody that everybody will be like, whoa, that's better than a selfie. Mm-hmm. Since the launch of her powerful movement, which is a commitment to bring one billion girls and women globally into the conversation called love, she has spent her time pushing, developing this dream. And I must tell you that I don't embrace a whole lot of much today because there's a lot of fluff, but Sonia's a tough girl. <laughs> I'm kidding you. You're like, whoa. Um, <clears throat> During her 20 plus year in corporate America, she managed over 20 billion uh, in purchasing, most recently Procter & Gamble. 
Um, but as the script says, with the same tenacity, inspiration, and compassion that she leveraged during her roles with corporations, even going back to high school, she is now using that same compassion, energy, get it doneness to ignite the power of sisterhood to ensure that girls and women everywhere, I like that because you know I'm totally involved with those women in Burkina Faso. She's using her skills, gifts, and talents that God has given her to ignite and ensure women and their daughters, girls, establish meaningful relationships with each other. Her credentialing, go to the website, www.thesisteraccord.com, and read it yourself, because I want to talk to her. I don't want to sit here and spend all this time reading about her accomplishments. Just know that this is her foundation, that she started to address the needs of girls and women, eradicate bullying and violence against girls and women globally. Globally. Need I tell you, they still haven't recovered those 300 girls from Nigeria that that terrorist, dreadful terrorist organization came in and took them. They still haven't found those girls. There's no telling. Disgusting. Our response? Uh, I'm telling you. You better watch this. This is real. It's closer than you think. Okay? We're going to get on into this interview, this second part of a two-part interview with Sonia, and introduce her to you if you have not met her before. Boy, oh boy, you missed a treat. And so... Sonia Jackson Miles. Hello. Hi there. How are we? And thank you <laughs> for this. So Look excited. at what she gave me. Love. Love. This is my piece of jewelry. Give me the camera. Come on. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me the camera. Yes. This is my little treat. Love. Yes. It's one of your uh, jewelry that you all make available. Yes. Yes. For the women. Sister Core Jewelry Collection. Um, a portion of the proceeds goes to the foundation. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. I I love that. And I thank you so much. Because this because really, you're love. And I so am this love. This represents you. And when you this put this bracelet on, as so many people say, they feel empowered. They feel exactly what it's saying. Oh, so then I'm going to wear it. Oh, everything. this is wonderful. Nobody's yes. going to get mine. No. No this one can mine. have your love. This, That's is, your this love. is mine. And the book, and I was just leafing through it, it's so, oh my God, the jewels. These yes. nine jewels are your tools. Yes. They will encourage, guide, and enable you to have deep, meaningful interactions with your sisters. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, selflessness. Mm, that's the fruit of the Spirit. Beautiful. Beautiful. The jewels. Mm, beautiful. Yes. Yes. Let's talk about... How was the Sister Accord created? I saw this, and I get that question all the time. And when I give the answer, people are like, you've got to be kidding me. But I saw it in a dream. I'm not, I think I that's real. I saw it in a dream, you know. I believe and it. In my dream, it was called the Sister Pact. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like the word pact. So I said, I've got to find another. So I'm sitting on the couch. My sister's sitting next to me. And I said, I've got to find another word for pact. What is it? What is mm -hmm. it? And it just jumped off the screen, the word accord, oh, being on one accord. One accord, exactly. You know, and so I said, this is exactly wow. what I want to say. This is what I want to do with this resolution. And that's where it started. I was asked to speak at an event um, uh, for President Obama's first inauguration on okay. Capitol Hill. Oh, my goodness. And I had this dream, and I called the lady up who had invited me, and I said, I know you wanted me to speak at this event, but I want to issue a charge and a resolution to all the women, because there were going to be women mm -hmm. there and men, mm -hmm. because men have to get their relationships right with the females in their lives as well. I totally agree. And I'll share with you how we are transforming the lives of, of men uh, as well. But 
I call her and I say, I want to read this resolution to you. And there was silence on the phone. Mm. And then the absence, and I used to tell my team this all the time, in the absence of information, we make up stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's typically negative. Mm -hmm. So in the absence of what she was thinking, I said, oh, my gosh, she hates it. Ah, what came out of her mouth talk. next blew me away because she said, Sonia, that is so incredibly beautiful. You will be before kings and queens with it. Oh, and that's wonderful. And I said, wonderful. oh, my goodness, oh, I just want to so do a great wonderful. job for you on right. Capitol Hill. What are you talking about? Right. Because I had this amazing corporate career. And because I love business and, uh -huh. you know, I love the world of negotiating and all of that, I would have never, ever thought that I would do anything different. Right. It was like, that was it. So I just felt like this was a dream. I was doing what I should do for uh -huh. this event. Okay. And then I was done. Mm. So all these people on Capitol Hill in this beautiful building, they said, well, what are you going to do with this? That was so amazing. Oh. Jackie Reed called from the Tom Joyner Show. She says, my mom wants a copy of it. Can she mm. have a copy? I'm like, a copy? What are you all talking about? Ah. The, the light bulb still hadn't gone on for, uh, you know, for mm -hmm, me. I mm -hmm. just thought I was doing what I needed to do that day. For that, that event. For that moment and had no idea that the world was waiting for this. I had no idea mm. that so many girls and women were struggling with their relationships with each other that they mm. needed something simple. One of the things that I hope you see in this book is that it's simple. Oh, I, I love this. I love this. We make this. everything so, it's beautiful I and simple. I love, the, I, love, I, I love, encourage your sister to face her fears and try something new. Simple How things, simple is the that? The little things that we do. It's the intentionality that we have to have with each other uh, that I help love to it. move us to our next. I love it. I, I just love, I just about. love, I love it. Send a card just because. I love sending Pick up cards. Pick the phone. I Instead love, of texting. I mean, just. It's just the little things. Mm, beau just beautiful. And just, the simplicity of the message, I think, is what helps people because oftentimes we get off track and we mm -hmm. say, oh, my gosh, it's going to be this big, huge, monumentous effort for me to get my relationships right. Mm -hmm. If you can break things down into simple, manageable steps, okay, then you are able to really see how you can really put a plan together that helps you with your relationships, and that's personally and professionally. That is such a vision. It's, it's so expansive mm -hmm. in its mm -hmm. scope. It's very, exactly. I mean, it's, it's huge. Exactly. But if you can put it into tiny little pieces, exactly. I think exactly. it's achievable. Exactly. And that's why the executions are important. And this is why I tell my clients that, who I consult, and I, I give them examples of what I've done. And I'm no different. If God okay. will do it for me, he'll do it for you. Exactly. And so what I've, what I've done is just broken things down into manageable pieces. Here's the book. You know, first it was the resolution, mm -hmm. then the book. And you got to remember, I, there was fear all throughout all of this. So I, I will gotcha. talk about that. I got gotcha. you. And then, you know, the jewelry collection, you know, the T-shirt. You know, so mm -hmm. how do you build on the message? And again, you talked about marketing before. Oh, yes. And how do you tell the story of the Sister Accord and what it's doing to transform the lives of people? We're not just trying to get people to buy stuff. Mm -hmm. We want to transform lives. Well, you said something interesting in one of your pieces about mean girls growing Oh, into. that's why. <laughs> Girl, we Everyone loves that. No, that, but this that is, statement. This, when I read that, I said, <laughs> you're right. Because yes. it, it's a deep thing. It is. It's and a what generational is thing, it, It's too. generational, it's and that's what I want to talk about. generational. Mean girls grow up to be mean women if there's no intervention. Mm. And I, I like to say the sister accord is the intervention because I believe in giving people tools and skills okay. that can help them. It's, you can't just say be nice. Right, when they don't know when what nice is. When they don't know is. what that means right. or what it looks like. Because right. if your mother was messy and your grandmother was messy and your great-grandmother was messy, then that's just that's the all way. You know. That's all you know. And you believe that that's how women are supposed to, girls and women are supposed to interact. And so many people who come to my session say, I didn't even think it was possible 
to have a healthy relationship with another female because I've never seen it before. Oh. So if you don't see a role model, uh -huh. you don't understand the possibilities for your relationships in your life. And it was so awesome. I was speaking in Mexico last year. And this young lady says to me, no, actually it was 2013, before it was the weekend before I was to leave my corporate job. Oh, I was scared out of my I mind. I know you were. And I went and spoke. I said, mm. I'm going to go speak. Okay. And when I got back on that Monday, it was that week was going to be my last week. And there was a lady there who was fighting everything I was saying. She was like, I don't buy into this. Yeah, I ain't, I'm not buying what you're mm -hmm, selling. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, she comes to one of my tea parties in Dallas. And oh. she stands up. And I could tell when she walked in the door that there was something different about her, mm -hmm. but I couldn't put my finger on it. She was brighter, happier. You know, I could yes, just tell right. her the spirit. cloud. The cloud her was spirit. Gone. Right. She gets up and tells this entire group, I mean, everybody's crying, how she wasn't buying it when she uh -huh, first met me uh -huh. at this conference and how her life has been transformed now that she has allowed women in. Right. She thought, you know, cause, you know, hey, you have a relationship, or you have a husband or whatever, and we think that that's the mm -hmm, end-all, be-all, mm -hmm. and we neglect the sisterhood. Right. And we don't understand how important oh, and essential is. that is, is for our spirits and souls mm -hmm. to be nourished mm -hmm. by our sisters. And she talked, and it was so powerful. And you could just see it. And, mm. and, and now she has prayer partners and women that... She yes. engages with yes. on a regular basis. Yes. And she said that, you know, before that, she's like, I don't do women. And those are the wow. kinds of examples. And I have countless emails and pieces of feedback from people talking about how this is transforming their lives. And that's what it's all mm. about. It's mm. so incredibly mm. powerful. It's so empowering. It's just, it's empowering. It's life changing, and I just again, you know, I thought I'd be doing my corporate thing, uh -huh. um, and, and had no idea that you know this is something that I was created to do, and and that's I liked so beautiful. what you just said mm -hmm. that you were created, and I figured that do. out. I Corporations that out. will continue; mm -hmm. they're self-sustaining. Right. If they make profit, they're around. If right. they don't make profit, they're in a graveyard. Exactly. But your soul has to have expression. It has to have expression. Exactly. And I say that because with so many women, yes. they have lost their soul. Exactly. And they are living exactly. out lives of predictability. Oh, you, you know I'm talking to you. Predictability. Yes. Minutia. Yeah. Children, grandchildren, cooking. M profound soul deadness and they're restless and yes they are restless yeah. because the soul desires to express what God has deposited exactly. in us I say it all the time I just I, I just say it all the time I just oh my god <laughs> I, I would I would that women and men yes. would hear this yes the soul desires to do the thing it was created to do and I didn't realize that I and mean, I have this amazing husband amazing children amazing family, amazing home, amazing job. You know, I had all these amazing things, and my spirit was restless. And right. I had no idea why. Right. You have to get on this journey. It's a lonely journey. It's a singular journey. Yes, Nobody can go on the journey for you. Right. you got to do it yourself to really find out what is that thing that I was created to do. And it's okay to stumble. Oh my goodness. And to splat. That's where the, yes. A lot. That's where the learning comes. But I tell you, um, I wouldn't trade any of it. I birthed the women's um, ministry, large, strong mm -hmm. woman ministries yeah. in the 90s, yeah. 1990s. Yeah. And uh, we had a huge uh, organization of women who needed to fit their way into church world mm. beyond the kitchen. Yes. There are women who've been set yes. as apostles and yes. prophets and evangelists and yes. pastors and teachers. And to watch women emerge yes. and to move into the dimension of God with yes. authority yeah. at that time in life was amazing. Yeah, oh, it was huge, huge. And, and changed my world. Yes. 
uh, when I see women now today, because there's more of an acceptance yes, in churches exactly. for women that right. have leadership, right. I say, you know, how awesome. Yes, I how, totally agree with you. How awesome totally. and how wonderful to be able to see that out. Yes. What you're doing now is so necessary mm -hmm. at this time in history. Yes, I agree with you. I'm telling Call you, for Son such a time I, as this, I, right? No, Sonia, I, can, I can't I take totally another agree. mean woman. It's terrible. How do you respond to negativity from women? You know, it's interesting. I've had very few really bad interactions, right, with mm -hmm, women. Mm -hmm. I've been fortunate. I yeah. have some, my best friend and I have been friends since first grade. I have mm. amazing, long-standing relationships. Okay. And I'm very loyal. That's important. So my biggest problem that God had to deal with me on was forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Me too. If you crossed me, it was Girl, on, it was on the cross <laughs> and the knife. <laughs> I'm gonna I was you. trying to figure out oh, yeah. now, what am I going to do, and he had to work with me on that. And so I had a lady who um, was my boss, mm -hmm. and this lady tried to do. I felt that mm -hmm. she was trying to do uh, things that would destroy me. Mm -hmm. She, you know, she, she may have. Telling, she was not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. She was not telling me the mm -hmm. truth. And I was just like, wow. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? So I decided to confront. Okay. I decided to have the conversation. Okay. Some conversations that we have. Yep. Need to have. Yep. It says, look, this is what I'm believing is going mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. Is this so? Is this so? And you've yeah. got to help me understand because mm -hmm. I'm trying to get as far away from you as I possibly mm -hmm, can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And, you know, we had this conversation and she broke down crying. And it, really, it, it, was the, it, was, it was a defining moment for me because that's when I realized that hurt people hurt people. Yes, indeed. And yes. I hadn't taken the time, mm -hmm. and I usually study folks, I hadn't taken the time to realize just how hurt she was. There mm -hmm. were lots of things that were going on. Mm -hmm. And her personal life, her professional exactly. life. Exactly. You know, okay. everything. Everything. Right? Okay, she's and, just a hot mess. And um, I think that bared into the, the behaviors, mm -hmm. you know, that I was seeing and experiencing. Mm -hmm. She was lying us in a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. A bunch of linuses is in a skirt. I'm like, don't you see the dirt flying? <laughs> Stay out of the way. <laughs> and I was able to extend forgiveness mm -hmm. in a way that I had never had before. But I realized that I had to go through that pain with her because God was preparing me for this. He would have never allowed me to birth the sister accord in the way I wasn't ready. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Until I truly could forgive someone who I felt was trying to destroy me. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about mm -hmm. that. Oh, that's major. That was so that's huge major. for me. That's major. Then he knew I was ready. Now mm -hmm. he said, because you were faithful over these things right here. Mm -hmm. I Just give a you few bigger small stuff. things. Mm -hmm. Now you can handle it. Mm -hmm. And so I tell people, you know, as painful as that process was, and not a lot of people knew what I was going mm -hmm. through. So my prayer partner and I were praying. I'm like, I don't know, you know, what's going on here, mm -hmm. but we need to pray. Right, exactly. Every morning. Every before morning. Before I go into mm -hmm. Babylonia. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Put on your armor. I had to put on the whole oh, armor. armor. Yes. And I'm so thankful. So very thankful. And I would have never, ever thought that I would ever say that I was thankful mm -hmm. for that experience. Um, but... When I say mean, when I say mean, and you know when you when you first meet uh, someone and they look, they do the up and down, uh -huh. and you know how we do as women, uh -huh. we look you up mm -hmm. and down, and then you know that there's trouble. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> like I said, Linus in the wings. <laughs> and you know that kind of behavior, you know the the bite, the backbiting, mm -hmm. the you know taking people's ideas. Oh yeah, and and in front of they're you. your own. Mm -hmm or downplaying people's accomplishments, right, or right. just flat out lying. And I would see and hear 
about all these experiences that my mentees were mm -hmm. having. And women are vicious. I've worked for men who might not have been the nicest, but mm -hmm. very few. I mm -hmm. mean, most of my bosses have been just amazing. But there was something about working for a woman mm -hmm. who was mean. Mm -hmm. It takes on another whole oh, dynamic. Oh, sheesh. Like getting bit by a snake. It will. I mean, and really. It can, it can make, you know, your life very miserable. Mm -hmm. But I think that men, I taught a seminar many years ago, early on in the women's piece, about games mother never taught us to play. And I taught this seminar and conducted this for many years and then got tied up into other things. But men learn how to duke it out. Yes, and be done. And they're done. That's called <laughs> football, basketball, soccer, <laughs> tennis, wham. Yeah. And they can be at the bar drinking. Yeah. And you're like, That's did, I not, exactly. did I not see that? Yes. And you will, if you step on a woman, many times just oblivious yes. to the crunch of yes. her toe. Yes through what you said or how you look yes. or your demeanor, you may find yourself in a hornet's nest. Oh, yes. And you're the food. Oh, yes. You're on the platter. Oh, yeah. You're like, what did I do? Yes. And um, yes. the Bible talks about that thing, that tongue. And it can be a, it can be a terrifying wicked. and it's wicked. wicked. And, yes. and then sometimes it's evil. Yeah. Thing. So how does this transform a woman? What's your first step? You have to begin to work on yourself. Okay. You have to learn how to love you. And so we have, in my seminars, we have exercises and things that we do mm -hmm. to really get people centered on what's amazing about me. Right. But nobody tells me, because I can't wait for my husband to tell me that I'm amazing. Right. I just can't. He mm. may not say what I want him uh -huh. to say. When you want when him I to want say it. When I want him mm -hmm. to say it, and then I'm mad. Right. You know, and so I, you have to encourage yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to understand why you are so amazing. Mm -hmm. And then talk to yourself each and every day and encourage yourself so that you begin to really feel the love for yourself mm -hmm. and we all have things you know we're we're our worst critics are we not and I'll mm -hmm. have people come to my sessions and they'll say I don't even I don't love myself and I don't even like myself mm -hmm. and so we have to get at the root of why mm -hmm. that's the case mm -hmm. what's going on and if it happened in childhood you got to go back there oh yeah because if you're really if you're really oh, yeah. serious about mm -hmm. getting to the root cause of what's going on and causing the negative behaviors mm -hmm. then you got to understand where they come from and so well, I will tell you this, and this is what I encountered a lot, and I'm sure you do as well with girls and women that don't like themselves, is so many of our women have grown up being told they're ugly. Yeah. Exactly. Why your mother would want to tell you I that you no are idea. ugly, or no your idea. hair is stringy, no or idea. you've got big African features, or I, I don't are you too dark? Yeah. Are you too white? Oh, yeah. Are you too? And the scarring. Yes. The scarring yes. that yes. becomes a part of her yes. personality. Yes. Even in her choices of oh, yes. men oh, yes. and life. Oh, yes. Because I'm the little ugly girl. Yep. And then, of course, the pretty girl. Well, I'm the pretty girl, and nobody likes me because I'm the pretty girl. Yep. And, and it just... And I, it just manifests I, itself in so many ways. And men do not, it doesn't matter if they're ugly. No. I mean, no one would ask Donald Trump, <laughs> nothing personal, dude, but you are a little ugly. <laughs> no, what? Who does that? Men, it doesn't matter. It doesn't Their matter. value sets are not Very focused different. on uh, physical no. appearance. Exactly. And they don't seem to have the same sensitivity. No. I mean, believe it or not, I've never heard a man in my life say he's ugly. No. I, I just never. I've heard no. them say, oh, I'm a handsome kind of guy. Yeah. I'm like, not. But they are not going <laughs> to say But they are not going to say, I am unattractive and physically repulsive. And <laughs> they're not going to say that. But I'm women gonna, will. But women know? will. Yeah. Women will. So yeah. you break through with first a self-love yes. evaluation. You have to understand where that stuff is coming from. Mm -hmm. And then we put a plan in place 
for you to do something about it. So for me, it's all about results. Exactly. You have to have a plan, and it, you have to be very intentional mm -hmm. with your plans, and that's what we do in my sessions. Does that... And it works. I, I, I have works. to believe, is weight loss in this? Because I do believe that a lot of women are uh, intentionally obese yeah. because fat covers pain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Literally, the cells yeah. coat themselves with fat cells to keep from feeling pain. Yeah, and you know, um, and that's why in one of the 51 ways is focus on your health. Okay. And remind your sister to do the same, and that's why that health conversation mm -hmm. is so important. Um, you know, whether it's AIDS or what have, it, what have you. Our African American women mm -hmm. are, you know, dying of heart disease and cancer rates. Yep. And, you know. And AIDS. You know, and mm -hmm. so we have a lot going on just mm -hmm. in our particular mm -hmm. um, race and demographic. And when you think about this whole notion of I have to be strong, mm -hmm. you know, and I have to, you know, I have to be tough, mm -hmm. you know, and so this whole angry black woman syndrome mm -hmm. and all the mm -hmm. things that we have to face within our culture. Um, that oftentimes shows up as mean girl behavior. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It shows, and you see it in the um, media. Oh right? my God! On on oh TV, God. or women oh are God. pulling hair, or what have you. I'm like, what is that names. about? Yeah. And and all of that, as you said, is just trying to cover up all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And what I say is, we have to open it up, right, and address the stuff, right. Instead of trying to cover it up, whether you're covering it up with food, mm -hmm. whether you're covering it up with whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You have to open it up, be able to remove the mask, because we right. all wear them. Right. And be honest and truthful about where you need to do the work, because this is all about work. I tell people, when you come to my sessions, you're going to work. Work, exactly. You know, so it's, if you like to be, you know, get mm -hmm. excited uh -huh. and, you know, foam at the mouth and do right. cartwheels. Right. <laughs> You might want to go right, to another session. Right, exactly. Because for me, it's about helping people really transform their lives. And you can't do it if you don't get yourself right. And then you begin to see other women as an extension of yourself. You and I just met. Oh, yeah, but this there has is been a nothing, joy. There is nothing that I would not do for you. If you called me and said, Sonia, this is what I need, mm -hmm. I'd be Michelle, when you need when it. When you need it. But that is because both of us are confident in who we exactly. are. Exactly. And we've got uh, to help these girls and, and women and do you the don't, same thing. You, you just can't, like I tell people, you, you, cannot, you cannot just be about you. you. God did not about put you. you on earth That's right. to have a you conversation. That's right. That's right. I mean, it, it, just go, right. it just goes nowhere. That's right. It really That's it. goes nowhere. That's it. But you know what? I, um, I'm, I, not only am I a financial person, but I'm a biochemist. And my, my girlfriend from first grade on, she uh, is also a microbiologist, re retired, but we did a lot of research yeah. about the issue of methylation. Are you familiar with that, where no. it's in the DNA? Oh, no, girls that have, uh, we now know that when a girl yeah. has a traumatic experience, yeah. that the cell creates an enzyme to insulate itself so that you will not feel the full expression of the wow. devastation. It's now been proven wow. scientifically, now I know about social, but it, that cell is passed on generationally. Wow. So if a girl was raped yeah. as a slave, yeah. and they were, yeah. eight-year-old girls, yeah. raped, procreated, not yeah. allowed to mentor, suckle, yeah. that cell created what we call wow. methyls. And, and you can read it, and I'll send you some yes, information. Okay. But it's powerful because, uh, and I talked about it last year, and we got some stuff going on now, but this aberration mm -hmm. goes generation to generation. Mm. They tested rats. Mm. Rats lick their babies mm. when they're born. The female rat licks all her babies. Mm. A female rat that has been abused yeah. suffers something will not lick her babies. Really? She will not lick her babies. Now, here's the catch, because they reproduce rapidly. The babies, when they become yeah. females producing, yeah. they don't lick theirs. Wow. 
They don't look that there. Is no, this is this is a Wall Street Journal started publishing, and me and Brenda were wow. jumping up and down because we said years ago, this is in the DNA. And so how do you how break the legacy? Is no, the how legacy, do you break, this, yes, do you break, break it? Cycle, you yes. must, yes. what you're doing. Yes. The reason I'm so excited about yes. you is because you are breaking yes. the legacy. Yes. It's, it's in That's us. That's what I say. This, you're and breaking you're it. it. I'm oh telling you, you're breaking it. I told Brenda, I said, Brenda, oh we have goodness. all this scientific data. We know yes. that African-American females, wow. it's in us. Wow. Because when you have been repeatedly raped, treated like chattel, which yeah, is not yeah, even yeah. human, yes. it's, it's below an animal, yeah. and you have got to have coping skills yes to keep you yes. from going insane. Yep. And the body says, I got yep. that. Yeah, this and is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to wrap you yeah. up into a place wow. where pain doesn't hurt like it's supposed to hurt. Wow. Because if pain were to fully actualize, yeah. Yeah. those girls would be yeah. cutting themselves exactly. up, killing themselves, exactly. because the soul has been yeah. devoured. Yeah. And so I'm sharing oh. that with you because I'm going to that give so you powerful. some of the re oh no no that that this is wow. a game this this Sonia is a game changer. Yes. I believe that. This is a game changer. Yes. When people say African American women are mean. Yes. And I told them, oh, you're gonna blame the victim now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna blame That's the how victim. Feel. You're gonna blame the victim. Okay. Yes. I got that. So what is the victim going to do mm -hmm. now that we know yeah. that they're like this? Yep. And what I found is that constant reinforcing of the truth th that God made you great, that God exactly. established you before you exactly. were born, that you are a per person of purpose. Exactly. That's, That's what you're it. doing. That's it. And Ultimately, the soul begins to reverse the script. Yes. When something negative yes. comes out, you can say, that's yes, not me. That's not me. That's you a DNA construct. Exactly. That's a DNA construct. Exactly. I don't have anything to do exactly. with that. I am my own person. Exactly. I am a God person. Is that what you're doing? Yes, yeah, that's, that's what you're it. doing. That's and unraveling, it. and that's what I talk about, oh. how we have to unravel all of that stuff. And it is stuff. Seen. And it's in you. Heard. Exactly. And say that's a lie. Exactly. And I understand why the cells did it. Yeah. I understand the construct. This is what I'm going to but do. But this is who I am. And that's why the plan is so important, Michelle. That's why I'm so excited about what you're, because you see it. Oh, you understand do I not exactly see it? What I'm I talking really about. do. That's why that plan is so important. And that's why I follow up with people and school administrators for the young girls who yes. go through our, te our leadership enrichment program. Because they say, Sonia, we're seeing the transformation. Right, right. That we're person is the not them. It's not them. They can love. Yes. They can yes. live. Yes. And they can breathe. Yes. They can breathe yes. from within. That yes. is so yeah. powerful is. what you are doing. It is amazing. Oh, my God. It is so amazing. Oh. This young it, lady in Seattle, we did... We've done seven tea parties, leadership enrichment tea parties so far. Um, that's a, it's a sister accord mm -hmm. um, foundation program. Okay. And because I have these amazing partners and sponsors, mm -hmm. I've been able to do um, these do things. These things oh, for how free wonderful! All over the country. And mm. Eventually, we're going to go to the globe, and that's where you know. Oh yes. So, um, <laughs> oh yes. I had one in November last year in Seattle, and this young lady said to me, "I will never." see myself the way that I used to. Now that right. after spending 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's all. 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 3 p.m. on the a line. Saturday. Right. Has been allowing these young girls and the mentors, because the adult women mm -hmm. are there too, to break strongholds. The lie. That they've been dealing the with lie. for years. It's amazing. The lie. It's amazing. I, I, I am so I am so moved and I cannot emphasize the sense of urgency. That, oh my gosh, so that's the other thing, that's the other thing that I was getting ready to say. <laughs> what I say to folks is you have to have a sense of urgency about Your this. life is at exactly. stake. Exactly. 
your life, the life of your daughters, yes. the life of your Genera grandchildren, yes. generations of women need yes. to know that that is a lie. That is not who they are. And that they have the freedom, because God said so. They have the freedom yep. to rewind exactly. that script exactly. and birth something exactly. out of themselves that exactly. is awesome. That's it. That makes me want to jump up and down. I'm telling you. That is so real. That is, that is the whole precept behind what we're doing with the Sister Accord movement. Whew. And what I say is there are generations unborn right. who are depending on you to do what God created you to do right. so that they can do what they need to do. Right. But if you're sitting over here, oh my God, not doing anything about it, fat, mad, and, exactly. and disgusting, exactly. then they cannot do inevitably what they were created to do. And so it's, it's that kind of sense of urgency that everyone needs to have. Well, I will tell you, a year ago, I did a television show uh, with um, the owner of the Dayton Weekly News mm. and I talked to him about methyl mm. because when I first talked to him for Black History Month mm -hmm. he was like I've never heard of this mm. and I began to share with him and unfold yeah. with him and he was shocked he was totally shocked and when I said to him he said I said oh for the record men have methyl too I was gonna say black men multiple babies I said again bread like that yep. that's not what a man does yep. he's under bondage too yep. exactly. how do you break his bondage yep. coach him into manhood yep. by telling him that's a lie that's not, that's not it that is a lie who taught you this what's going on inside of exactly. your cells exactly a memory exactly of who you are not exactly sorrowful Exactly. But we are change agents, Sonia. That's what it is. And this you know, is a change a agency. Change, and, and that's totally what I believe. And it's a gift from God. And, it and, is. And just think about the fact that I was scared mm. for all those years and did nothing with it. And God was mm. like, okay, look, this is my work. I have to get this done because there are people who are depending on it. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do it or am right. I going to give this to someone else? Well, you're the woman for the job, <laughs> sounds and I'm to like, me. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> I, and what a job it is because I am so serious. It is. It so is about serious. love yeah. and respect yes. and a return to truth. Yes. As I share with pastors and leaders, you cannot sit in a congregation of people mm -hmm. and you got a ton of women yes. that are nuts that are in bondage yeah. and need to be loosed yeah. so that they can do what they have been predestined exactly. to do, which is to walk on a path that's already been exactly. set by God. Exactly. All of us have a path. Yeah. This book needs to be in every church. I, I, every denomination, every denomination every needs yeah. to know this. Exactly. Because the church today is full of women. Full of women. This and full they of women. are all crying out for this. I yes. mean, I spend a lot of time, you know, with women in church groups and what have you, and they are all like, wow. Right. And, you know, but when you they're, know, once they're enlightened, it's, it's never going to be the it same. It will never be the it's same. Never, but I do tell oh, them, I said, now, please, please understand that your cells are programmed mm -hmm. to spit this out. Mm -hmm. It's a survival mechanism. Yes, exactly. It's a pain minimizer yeah, yeah, because yeah. if you have to confront the reality yes. of your circumstances, yes. your body may say, she, she may I'm kill me. I, I may get killed. I'm I may get down. pill popped. Exactly. Get, and this is so necessary. Yes. Every human being, yes. Sonia, deserves respect. That's right. And every, every human one. being is entitled to be loved exactly. unconditionally. Exactly. Unconditionally. Exactly. Like a, a baby doesn't thing. ask you, will you love me? Nope. A baby doesn't ask these questions. I totally agree with you. I say that all the time. Every human. Yep. And that's why I call it the revolution of love. Oh, I got I it. I mean, just, you know, so that's, I got it. that's it. That's the it. revolution of love. That's what this is all about. And that is really, so tell me, 
how did you create this foundation? Because that's unique. Yeah, so what I wanted to do is get to work. Okay. You know, and I had the book. Okay. Um, the res like I said, the resolution to come first and the book. And I said, you know, I really want to organize myself. Mm -hmm. I'm very much into structure and organize. Right. Being organized so that we can really do the work mm -hmm, to transform mm -hmm, the lives. Mm -hmm. And I felt like the foundation could do that. Right. And I felt like I could get some partners to come right. along with me. Right. So that I could offer this free programming. So that was what was important to me. And so I said, I'm just going to learn what I need to do, understand mm -hmm. how do I, and the internet is full Isn't of it information. Free. So free information. Mm -hmm. So I sat down and just really studied, you know, how do you form a foundation? What mm -hmm. do I need to do in the state of Ohio? Oh, I need to have board of directors. Oh, so let me really pray about, you know, mm -hmm. who are people Could who can come board. along mm -hmm. with me. Establish a board of directors. Get the paperwork done. Mm -hmm. And so I, what I did, I, I probably spent a little more money um, than I needed to, but I went to a lawyer, um, a firm, so mm -hmm. that they could do everything. Oh, I no, wanted no, no, everything. That's okay. The firm foundation. Mm -hmm. I wanted everything mm -hmm. to be in place. Mm -hmm. Operate with a high level of integrity. Okay, and accountability. And accountability. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I hired this law firm, and they did the paperwork, and I explained to them what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. and giving scholarships to girls. Mm -hmm. and and women and um, really just laid it all out. This is the plan. This is what I want to mm. do. How much but did it, it cost? Some time. Ask, I'd say, you know, with the lawyer, I'd say set aside a good, you know, two, three thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. And so I okay. wanted to invest in myself. Right. And right. so now, so you could do it cheaper, right? Because there are lots of things that you can mm -hmm. do. You can get templates mm -hmm. from uh, some of the uh, dot com, legal yeah, dot legal com. Zoom mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to spend that kind of money. Mm -hmm. But again, but for it's me, still I wanted important. to make sure. I'm You've got to have the right you foundation. You've got to have, this is, this is money. That's right. This is money. That's right. Foundations offer tremendous benefits. Yes. Yes. They do. Yes. Tax wise, yes. etc. Exactly. So you want to make sure that you are operating, um, you know, very fiscally responsible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but that was the first step for me is just making sure that I had the right people. Okay. And then properly constructed I, board. Yeah, and okay. Then, and then structure it appropriately so that the, I could then go to potential partners mm -hmm. to say, and ask for money. This is what we're doing. Right. And that's the hardest thing for me is asking people for money. I'm oh, the giver. I love asking people I'm for money. I'm the giver, so I'm like but always you, giving. But they love to give to you. And now, you know, I'm learning that, uh, you know, sometimes you just have to open your mouth yes, and ask yes. and help people understand your story and mm -hmm. what you're trying to do. And this is a powerful story it's a very for many donors. Story. I mean, particularly yes. uh, when you look at um, other groups and what is going on today. There's yes. A, there's a renewed emphasis yes. on violence, domestic oh, violence. Huge. I mean, really, the Grammys and the, the Super Bowl. And yes. I was like, I never thought I'd see a day where they would be talking about folks getting beat up. I mean, is that, that, amazing that is what? amazing. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. I'm just very encouraged by that. Um, and you know, one of my partners is like a girl always. And Like a Girl, we premiered uh, the um, Like a Girl ad during Super Bowl. It came on right after halftime. Was that? Are and you that's, serious? That's my partner, yes. Oh, my Always gosh. My partner. So Like a Girl is integrated into my sister court programming. Yes. Because we have all of this negative stuff that we tell girls. And until when they get to that puberty oh, yeah, it's stage, gonna be, it's then gonna they get start crazy. buying into it. Yeah. And so that's what you saw with Like a Girl ad. It that was, was so powerful. That was powerful. Yeah. I was so, uh, yeah. we are almost out of time. Oh, not again. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, let's talk about how to enroll corporate sponsors. Yeah, you know, really taking the time again to go through the Internet. Okay, and so we go to www.thesisteraccord.com. So that's my website. Okay. So what I did was I wanted to understand which corporations out there really kind of cared mm -hmm. um, about the things mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm doing. Um, so I have TJ Maxx, the Hilton, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. always. Oh, you got some players. I have, you got I've some been players. very yeah. fortunate. Mm -hmm. 
the other thing that I would ask people to do mm -hmm. is to tap into their networks, people who know you mm -hmm. and know what you stand for, mm -hmm. and just tell them, you know, these are the things that I'm doing. Ask, the, ask for help. Right. And that's the biggest thing for me was asking for help because, like I said, I'm the helper. I'm yes, the one right, who's taking right. care it's of hard. everyone else. Yeah, it is hard. Well, once I was able to say, this is the vision, mm -hmm. this is what I'd like to do, I was able to sit down and, and explain that vision, and people got it. Well, is Avon just curious because Avon... Everyone keeps telling me I, I need to talk to Avon. Well, the only reason I don't, I'm just saying that Avon so is supposed to be today. doing some things, That's Mary Kay, um, yes. some things out of Texas. Mm -hmm. But this is a idea whose time is now codified in here. And yes, you have a population group that is staggering. The one billion women is yes. beyond achievable. Yes, it is. It's beyond just achievable. Like, it's just it's like everything so else. Huge. It starts with a preparation yes. and a vision, and then pulling together like-minded yes. people that are positive. Exactly. Will not accept no. As I tell people, uh, turn that no into a yes because right. I'm getting ready to leave. I don't do no's. You know, God doesn't do no's. That's Everything's right. yes and amen and right. have a great day. And so. Um, I just think this is incredibly, incredibly important. And I'm going to say again to those of you that are watching, this is amazing. Thank and you. Sonia thank you. is amazing. Oh, Not just because you. of her vision, but because she is a get her done kind of a woman. And, and I happen to yes. love those kinds of people. Yes. I like people <laughs> that function on purpose and understand that with God behind you and his program now in full operation, yes. that it's just going to be a great all time. All things are possible. All things, not something, all, all. things, all things exactly. to those that believe. Yes. So I'm just honored again in the remaining time uh -huh. we have left 